Hey folks, another day, another chance to appreciate art. Today, we're going to visit an art museum in the Philippines located in Manila, the Manila Clock Tower Museum. Housed in the city's most iconic landmark, the Manila City Hall. But before you join us, let me tell you a brief history and some trivias about the museum. The Manila Clock Tower was considered the tallest clock tower in the Philippines when unveiled in the 1930s, standing 100 feet in elevation. But like most buildings in Manila, it was intensely damaged during World War II. And did you know that for years, the clock tower served mainly as a storage room with a reputation of being haunted? Former employees used to say that people shouldn't stay inside beyond 6 o'clock p.m. because spirits inside the building make their presence felt at night. Anyways, projects to restore the clock tower and make it a tourist attraction started in the year 2020. The clock tower is illuminated at night. The bell of the clock tower is rung three times then followed by a melody. The bells within the tower make a sound to mark the break time of Manila City Hall employees. And then the bell rings again at the close of a business day. And today, Manila's iconic clock tower is the capital's newest attraction. Various art pieces, installations, galleries, the wall of heroes, and portraits of previous mayors of Manila are some of the must-sees in the museum. Now, finally, we're going to introduce to you some artworks in the museum that will surely captivate your soul on how it is made and the meaning behind it. Let's go! So, this painting is called Carmony created by Rochelle Mina in acrylic on canvas. So this painting is only recent and the uh, artist is also new. Uh, I chose this painting because the color is bright and it is a two pair of coin in the exterior part of the painting. So what is the meaning of this? A pair of koi is often seen as a good luck symbol or representative of positivity. Koi are synonymous with harmony as yin and yang complete each other, representing the harmony of two opposite energies combining together as one, create a perfect balance. Being in close proximity to the koi spirit will bring you luck, fortune, and spiritual blessings. So, the long history, hardy nature, strength, and bravery of koi have led to this species of fish symbolizing almost everything that is positive in this life. So, The Spiral on Time by Bernard de Lumen. The medium is acrylic on canvas. The dimension is 24 inches by 36 inches. And the year is 2023 where it is created. So the spiral of time is something like an expansion focused on the past with its successor, planar chaos and future side. To be centered around the present time as it with e every journey there are ups and downs so whatever circumstance and whatever we do from time to time it affects and creates a path for our successor. Don't waste our time and leave a mark that is something memorable and as we know time flies there is no turning back. Take care of our environment and preserve our culture. Move forward, fly high, and keep dreaming. Is what Bernard de Lumen wants to to share on this artwork. Spiral on time. Francis Lachance, goddess of beauty, created with oil and canvas of 48 by 24 inches. Lachance expressed his emotions and his appreciation towards the beauty that women hold. Beauty is a process that looms. The painting depicts different curves and a mixture of bright and warm colors that form a woman with flowers in her hand. The flowing curves, flowers, and the warm colors used serve as the background of the main theme, making the woman the subject of the art, which simply emphasizes 
her as she was holding flowers in her hands. This magnificent art this piece of art is inspired by the Belgian surrealist painter René Magritte. The Son of Man touches on what we see and what we do not see, the visible that is hidden and the visible that is present mean to reinforce the idea that we only have a vague idea of what may pervade. The line in drawing you see in the art is called Mendy. The Mendy is a popular form of body art in South Asia and resembles similar tradition of Venom as a body art found in North Africa, East Africa, and the Middle East. There are many different names for Mendy across the language of South Asia. There are many variations and designs. That the art of henna called Mendy in Hindu and Urdu has been practiced in Pakistan, India, Africa, and the Middle East for over 5,000 years. It was originally used for its natural cooling properties for the people living in hot desert climate. Mendi or Mehendi or Hena is an ancient form of body art originating in India and across South Asia and the Middle East. And we hope that you enjoy our tour at the Manila Clock Tower. This historic landmark has stood at us of time and we are proud to share its story with you. As we leave, we encourage you to take a moment to reflect on the rich history of this place. The Manila Clock Tower is a reminder of the people, resiliency, and our culture. It is a symbol of hope and progress and we are grateful to have this opportunity to share it with you guys. Again, we thank you from Group 1 and from the Manila Clock Tower.